Hi there, Jim Jermaine talking here for the second time about the Riders. There's been a lot of excitement and a lot of speculation about where the team will finish. I remember this comment I heard from Ted Ernest, five-time All-Canadian, and he was relating to all the changes the Riders made one year. And he said, what the fans don't realize is that it takes a long time and a lot of work for a team to work as a team. He says, you can have all the best players you want, but if a team doesn't play as a team, uh, for instance, the offensive line, he says that team's going to struggle. And offensive, taking the example of the offensive line, uh, if you can have, uh, if you replace all the, the guards and the tackles, the center is the only one who's allowed to, to move after the players put the, are done in their stance. Now, the center calls the blocks, he calls the blocks for the stunts, for the blitzes, and then on top of that, there's the footwork and the timing that all has to be synchronized so that everybody picks up the right block and people have to know where they have to be and you have to be able to trust the person next to you. Someone like Wayne Shaw had said about uh, the Riders, he said, look good, it's an interesting, going to be an interesting year. He figures that they're going to struggle at first to probably get it together, but looks at the offensive line and the blocking that uh, they're going to have to face. And then the main thing that was mentioned was the linebackers. You've got linebackers who've never played together before. And the interesting thing that uh, Wayne likes to point out is that you have a middle linebacker who was a defensive end at college, who played a little bit in college, but middle linebackers are the most important spot in defense. He gives an example of uh, playing in the 72 Grey Cup game, and Steve Sweetak was not playing the zone drops properly, and Wayne had to compensate his coverage to cover the Sweetaks because he wasn't playing it properly, and Tony Gabriel was getting loose. He said Americans aren't used to the big drops up here, to the motion. That's the Riders are going to have to watch that. They're going to have to watch an inexperienced middle linebacker. He says that's going to be a problem area. He figures that, that uh, but though he likes Shamari Williams, there's something they're going to have to work at. New guys on the defensive backfield. There's the different coverages. There's all the motion. Uh, Jim Pop talks about Americans coming up here thinking that, he's, yeah, it's football. He said, but you've got, you've got all this motion on offense and you've got five guys running around on defense. The zones are bigger and, the, and receivers have more angles run away from the receivers. It's, it's a tough place to play. But you've got changes in the defensive backfield. You've got changes on the linebackers, the defensive line, the offensive line. You've got uh, uh, some new receivers, new running backs. The running backs are going to have to pick up all the, all the blitzing linebackers. There's a lot more motion here. So as we can see, there's a lot of changes. Uh, it's going to be an interesting year. I think as fans, we're going to have to be a little bit patient with the riders. But the one good thing is that, like John Lynch has said, well, Calgary and Edmonton are also going to struggle. That'll keep the riders battling for second and third. Uh, I think BC is going to kind of dominate there. I uh, have heard some interesting things going on in their camp. So I just wanted to add that, and we'll see what happens uh, from here on in. And good luck.